Okay, I want to apologize for this, because that video, is just the computer just cut off. It's been doing that a lot lately. And my volume seemed way too low. Um, the table was shaking because I had this stupid camera mounted and didn't realize every time I moved, it moved. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, I was talking about some of my favorite uh, YouTubers. The Scrapping 2010, I believe. All of, all of you people are just so talented. I know I won't mention all your names, but I'm subscribed to everybody. Trust me. Um, what more can we do to this? Oh, let me tell you about these gorgeous prism. Have you guys ran across? Go to uh, Pinterest and look for CJ Eureka. And I will shock at all you with some of the stuff I create. But my latest obsession is this Hebo prism, fantasy prism. Prism, and they also have fantasy moon. So I thought about the prism. I tell you, it does some weird stuff, almost microscopic. Oh, by the way, this video is based loosely on Gabriel Polacco. Check the check the uh, description. I put a link. Gabriel created a dentist dress and I based this on hers. My the only difference between mine and hers is mine is the frugal craft version. She used the gorgeous papers that she bought. And I use greeting cards and sheet music that I recycle. And sure I could keep embellishing this and knowing me I would, but let me show you some of my secrets. If I could find it and I've been looking at that darn thing. Now that I wanna show it to you. I can't find it. You guys already know this. But if you would take, stick it over and over or anything, I love best glue ever, and put it on something like these little flyers, I mean, it will pick up anything for you. It's just, you know, these little tedious little things. If I had my ties down, I'd probably, and I, I will, but I'm going to take the time. Put some mice by, just draw a line around his heart. And bling this up. May put some on her necklace. I'm going to do things like that. Um, I want to talk about my next video. Oh, by the way, of course, you want to take vintage photo and darken. Although you could darken it just with a darker version of uh, the color you use. Just don't use as much water with it. I'm going to do something to cover this up with something. Some pretty trim. Um, I cut this double so that there will be a right in the uh, left. And you can do that. You can have fun with dimension. I love dimension. I'll, I'll probably put a stone or a bow on each one of those little inventions. You know where I cut the um, wheel? You can go into overkill with this thing if you want to. This will be good in the place. There's a big old space here. I'm still thinking about putting a frame there. A little journal, uh, something that people can journal or put a picture of the kid. This is screaming to be 316. I would put 316 on here, but I don't want it to be limited to 316. Because, of course, like everything else, I will be selling this like the fool I am. I never get a tag. I was so junk in a New York minute. I'll probably sell it with blank pages and a back cover. And people can, uh, it will make a nice diary for a little girl. I'll make sure there's plenty of pockets and frames and stuff. Our next video, one day soon, I'm sure most of you know how to decorate. it. But one day soon, this is, <laughs> this is my magne magnesium citrate. I drank that stuff like water. I thought, well, why not recycle bottles? If you go to Pinterest, you can just see my ultra bottles, my everything. You're going to say, my goodness, that woman does everything. Yes, I do. God, you know, he just wanted to extremely bless me to tell him. What can I say? I say, thank you, Lord. Um, next week, well, not next week, next video, I'm going to show you how to quit wasting your money. The money I wasted on these silicone molds. You know, that two-part junk. Well, I've been making them. I'll, uh, you wouldn't believe it. I'll tell you what, I could make a whole batch. This cost me five bucks combined, less than five. 
the, the cornstarch was a dollar. This was two ninety nine. And let me tell you, you get a lot of mold. This, these two ingredients mixed together will give you this. And here it is. I use it a lot. It's flexible. After a while, they will wear. But, um, I see. Oh, I got to take the glove off. Well, maybe not. But I'm just going to stick this in here. I want to show you the detail. Let me grab some mica to rub on. Maybe I'll rub some mica on. I'll use scrap clay anything because um, it's going to be covered with paint or mica or something. You put the mica on. It's a shell. The detail is fantastic. I made lots and lots of mold. These are some various shells here. This is a huge shell when I want a big one. Gorgeous. And this stuff lasts forever. It's pretty flexible. It pops right out. I'll show you how to mix it in the next video, okay? Stay tuned. I think I'm going to cut off now, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to check the description and check out Gabrielle's fantastic tutor.